Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 447. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my College Upset link, and you can download the workbook Excel Magic Trick 440 to 451. Hey, in this trick here, we're going to learn something very important about the AND and the OR functions for logical tests. Here's the situation. Uh, we want to keep all of the records. Uh, that are not colored red and we want to delete these and the criteria for the red here is if there is a CAPS and an MA for the same company. You can see down here we have a CAPS and MA but they're for different companies so we do not we want to keep these we want to extract the red. The red means get rid of them. Alright and so there's uh, a bunch of records. This is just a small data set. This was a huge data set. So the first thing we're going to do is we'll, and I'm going to start in this cell here because sometimes it's easier to start from the point of view when you have some trues sitting right next to you. If I'm sitting in this cell, I want to say, is this one equal to this one? And, uh, I'm sorry, is this equal to caps? And is this one equal to MH? And is this equal to this? That's three tests that come ha have to come out true. The way you have multiple tests, then you all want them to come out true is to use the AND function. So AND, I'm going to say, is this one equal to, in quotes, C-A-P-S, end quote. Notice the AND has logical 1, logical 2, so you can have many logical tests. Then I'm going to say, is the one below me equal to, in quotes, M-A. And then my third logical test will be, is this one equal to this one and then close parentheses. Now, before I hit control enter, this is only half of the formula here, but let's at least see if when we get to the caps, because we built this formula from the point of view of this row right here, when it gets down here it should give us a true. We haven't built the part for the MA yet. Control enter. Let me just see if I can copy this down a few. Okay, so it's given us a false there even though we want to extract that record. So, so we need to amend this formula right here so that it says true here also. Now I'm going to just uh, put this into edit mode and look what happened was when we copied down that C10 which is one cell to my left relative cell reference it's looking at MA when I really want it to be looking one up and similarly this one right here looking uh, one cell below needs to be looking on this row here. Now I'm going to amend this formula. This AND is correct for when it gets to rows with CAPS and relative MA below. So I need a second AND here. And this AND or the AND for when we get to a row like this, either one of them can come out to be true and we want to true in the cell. Well, the way you do that is with the OR. The OR, you can see logical 1, logical 2, just like the AND, but all the OR needs to deliver a true to the cell is one of them to be true. So I'm going to have my AND because all of these have to be uh, true to, to drop a true into the logical one. I'm going to put a, a cursor right there in comma. Now we need our second AND. And we're going to build it from the point of view of uh, uh, this row right here. I need to say, is this one cell to my left equal to, in quotes, MA? AND is the one directly above me equal to C-A-P-S. And is this one 3 to my left equal 3 to my left and 1 above? Close parentheses. That close parentheses on the AND, close parentheses on the OR, and that is our formula that will work. Control Enter. I can click and drag it down. And then up. And so now I've created a formula that will give us our uh, criteria regardless if we hit a row with caps and MA below or MA and caps above. Now, if you didn't already notice, these columns had to be sorted. So I had to sort on this column A to Z first, and then I had to sort over here. So no notice how they're all forced, and then I need to sort uh, A to Z here. Uh, secondarily. So uh, minor sort, major sort. Now what do we do? We could um, uh, copy paste values and then filter and extract. You know how I'm going to do it? I'm going to do it with advanced filter because then we can just leave those formulas there. I'm going to 
So I have my field name right there, remove, and my criteria. Here's my data set. Hey, but I want to dump these records on a new sheet. And the way you do advanced filter to dump on a new sheet is you got to start advanced filter on the new sheet. I'm going to insert a new sheet, Shift F11. <clears throat> I'm going to call it like um, extract. I'm going to start my advanced filter here, data. There's advanced filter in earlier versions is data filter, advanced filter. Uh, copy to another location, but it doesn't even have the list range, so I'm going to click on this sheet. I'm going to highlight this whole range here. Criteria, I'm going to click back on this sheet right here and say there's my criteria right there. Copy to, and I'm going to click right there and click OK. Just like that, I get my uh, records extracted. All right, um, that's a little bit about, ooh, the guess what? I forgot to copy this formula up. Oh, that could have been a disaster. I better make sure here. And in our case, it didn't matter because those two were uh, the same. But there you go, that, that formula there, and or, uh, and advanced filter extract. All right, we'll see you next trick.